to be happy, no? We all want to be physically healthy, no? We all want to have a peaceful mind. No? I, I think I am not I am not seeing this experience in the right right way. Something happened, and start a process, no, in our mind uh, to to focus, no, to change and to focus the situation in the right right way. And what I've seen and I, what I in a correct way. Yeah. So if we take the time to practice and to connect with our uh, true self, no, in an, let's say, peaceful state, we will notice that all that difficult experiences, no, they are not bad for us, they are not bad. So, first of all, thank you for, for, for your invitation. And um, what I can share is that uh, I live in Mexico, in Mexico City. You know, I was born here. My whole life I, I am living here in this beautiful city. It's a huge city, no? Full, very crowded, but at the same time, we have a lot of things, uh, a lot of options no? here in the city. So. It's, it's a very nice place. Um, I can tell you that uh, my whole, whole life, um, I, I always try to look, uh, let's say, activities no, or information to help me to improve my life in all the aspects. And that's the way Chin and Chikung uh, came to me. I knew about Chin and Chikung science in 2012. Okay. Yeah. But before, let me tell you, I practiced yoga, meditation. I read a lot about different uh, philosophies, mm. most of them of Asian, no? From Asia, so I I like a lot, no, the 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 East, uh, the the philosophy of the East, no. Yes. Yeah, and I think that this this was one aspect uh, because I engaged, I, I could say I engaged uh, real fast with Chin and Chikung. Mm. because we know that the root of Chin and Qigong is Buddhism, Taoism, and many other uh, philosophies. So uh, that was an important point for me at, at the beginning. And additionally, in my, let's say, personal or professional uh, life, uh, you know, I, I worked 15 years in the ph pharmaceutical industry. And I worked there because very, very fast in my career, I realized that I wanted to dedicate my life to help people, no? Yes. And, and all these aspects, no? <laughs> joined in some point of my life that I decided that Chin and Chikung it was a, a very good way, and so far for me, it's the best way that I can uh, help people, you know, to, to improve their lives. Uh, it was um, last year. Okay. Last year. Uh, because, let me tell you, in two, 2016, uh, I just stopped working in the pharmaceutical industry. And my whole life changed, you know, completely. Not only the, 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 the job, but also my routine, you know, my daily routine, everything, everything, everything changed. 
And in that moment, I found uh, the Hun Yuan Chi therapy program and I started changing, you know. For me, when I say uh, that I started changing, I mean uh, my emotions and my mind, you know. Uh, I noticed that uh, this information, this uh, knowledge that Master Liu shared with us in, in my personal experience, you know, helped me a lot to start changing, you know, very old patterns in the emotional and in the mental way. And in 2019, I had the opportunity again to, to because it's the way I see now, you no. Know? I had the opportunity to face a strong, difficult situation. Mm -hmm. um, now in terms of uh, continue living in the way uh, I used to, no, or change. And I can tell you that, of course, at, at the beginning it was, uh, it caused me uh, some fear, some kind of fear, you know. But I continue with my practices. I continue, continue, continue. Not always with my practices, no matter my emotions or, yes. or my state of, of, of mind. And I am sure that that, um, that uh, practice, that uh, continuous practice, uh, helped me to to change the, the way I was seeing this situation. So at the end of the day, I can manage to, to, to keep you know, a calm inner state. You know? uh, and not, not only that, I, I could manage to, to see the benefits of this uh, new situation yes and it was amazing for me yes yeah that's it's interesting that you mentioned um a a difficult experience as you you refer to it as an opportunity and it's not the first time where i'm hearing an individual who practices Xinen Qigong refer to a tragic or a difficult experience as an opportunity. And it seems to me that um, what Xinen Qigong does is it, it shows you that hardships or, or tragic incidents don't have to be seen as an overall bad thing, but rather as an opportunity to change and to approach it in a different way. And if I'm correct, that's that's very much what you um, have embodied uh, throughout your difficult experiences. Yes, uh, completely right. Uh, uh, that's uh, one of the, the, the gifts that uh, practicing Chen and Qigong uh, give us. You know? yeah. This, uh, let's say, ability or capacity to change our mindset you know, in a correct way. Chen and Qigong really can help us to, to change our life. You know? Yes. And, um, I think that we all want to be happy. You know? We all want to be physically healthy. You know? We all want to have a peaceful mind, you know? yes. no matter what happens. Yes. So the message is that we have a, a very powerful tool, you no? Know? If we practice, it, it, that is just the, the requirement, let's say. If you practice, you can really change your mind, your, your life, 
your physical, your emotions, your mind. And if we change, no, it will change us in, in a holistic way. We can, let's say, see our intentions manifested. No? Yes. So, yeah. <laughs>